Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I am a second time puppy raiser for Guide Dog Australia. I'm located down in Victoria and sitting next to me is a beautiful golden Labrador named Tina who is 20 weeks old. I've got Tina at eight weeks and she loves a good snuggle. She'll curl up in my lap to no end. Tina has quite a different personality to our first dog, Heath. She still does the, the nose boobs that Heath liked to give. Um, but yeah, she's definitely got her own cheeky side to her. When Tina was 16 weeks, we got given the guide dogging training vest for her. And that coincided with when we could start taking her into a little bit busier of an area to walk in such as a small set of shops, a little post office, um, a small cafe, things like that. And being that she's now 20 weeks, we have progressed into walking into those stores. So moving forward, we might start to move her into a larger set of shops that's in a busier area. Then we might start to go into supermarkets that are slightly bigger as we move through her training. So I always get asked why I wanted to be a puppy raiser for Guide Dogs Australia. I always knew about guide dogs and had a great grandma that was always donating to Guide Dogs Victoria and always had the tea towels. So I always had that in the back of my mind that that was something I could potentially do one day. So when we got our first dog heat, there was a little bit of anxiety about what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> we grown up with dogs so we knew how to get the dog to a certain level in development and training but we weren't quite sure whether or not that what we were doing was essentially guide dog worthy so what actually helped us immensely was the fact that there, there is always support from the puppy raiser team um, and we also get a guide dog puppy raiser manual which helps us to be able to see where the puppy should be at and what age they should be doing certain things and how to get them to that stage. Heath did go on to become a working guide dog, which honestly was the best feeling to know that we could help somebody out, that what we were doing in just essentially having this pup in our house for 12 months could mean that somebody with low vision or no vision could have some help and have some freedom in their life was, was quite quite great and amazing for us to be able to see at the end of our, our hard work of 12 months of looking after a little boisterous pup. So thank you for listening to our story of what we have to say. <laughs> I don't think Tina wants, wants to go off and do some training now because I'm sure she'll enjoy some treats for all her good sits and all her good downs. Um, so until next time, stay safe and thanks for listening.